Hello, it's Jeannie. How are you? I hope you are so well. Today, I have some really, I think, amazing things to show you and talk about a blast to the past. This is literally a page right out of my childhood and maybe some of yours if you're older like me. <laughs> okay, and maybe you've heard of these if you're younger. Maybe your parents or grandparents have talked about these. Stamps. What? What did she mean by stamps? Well, here's what I mean. Cat hair. I am showing you what we used to collect when we would go grocery shopping. Blue chip stamps and s &H green stamps. Now, what these were were stamps that you would get from a grocery store or a gas station or various other places. And I guess you could say they were kind of like loyalty. Um, it was a loyalty program. And when you would make a purchase, you there was a machine next to the register that printed out stamps that you would take home and keep in a drawer or a box and collect and then you would fill up these stamp books. Now this one is S&H and, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it but as you can see somebody filled this out and you would <laughs> see look at this You would lick them or use a sponge and put them on the pages. And then when you saved up enough of them, you redeemed books. You took them to a redemption center or you could mail them in and you got catalogs. And it would tell you how many books you needed and we're gonna walk through this and I'm gonna show you some of the really cool things that we would save up for. Um, now, there was the two big ones were s and green stamps and then blue chip stamps. <laughs> now, there were other loyalty stamp programs that came out, for instance, Where's my blue chip? I don't have the actual blue chip um, the stamps, but I've got the catalog. And let me show you. Look at this. And this is the blue chip catalog. And it would, again, also tell you how many books of stamps you would need to redeem to get the things in here. So we're going to look at that. Now, other companies popped up to start their own stamp reward program. One was called Gold Bill. But, you know, these were very... Um, localized, I'd say. And then there was Holden Red Stamps. See, you fill out. And I've got a few. Oh, so I've got about three of these. And I do have some Holden red stamps in all of this mess. So, I need glasses to see. So there was Top Value TV, the s and Oh, here's the whole thing. Let me show you this. Okay, here's the 
here's the Holden. And you would, I remember licking these and then sticking them in the books. And saving up the books. Now, you had to practice patience because you could get something for, say, five books. You know, um, where are they? But then if you saved up, if you wanted something really big, you had to wait and save up a lot of these books. And that was hard because you're thinking, wow, if we redeem so many, we can get this. But it's not the big thing. So let me show you. Oh, look at this one. Here's the s &H idea book. So we're going to go through these and you'll see how many books it takes to buy these cool things. So we've got two catalogs that are S&H and, and one that is blue chip. These I would say were the two big ones. So. Do any of you remember these? I'd love to hear what you got from them. Um, and if you do a little research into the whole stamp program, which I just did because of this video, I, I really learned a lot. So let me read a little bit to you about, about it. So, Blue Chip Stamps started as a trading stamp company called the Blue Chip Stamp Company. And they were and they were a competitor to SNH Green Stamps. Um, Blue Chip Stamps were a loyalty program for customers similar to discount cards issued by pharmacies and grocery stores in the digital era now. Um, so people would be given stamps according to the dollar amount spent. So nothing new there. The loyalty program was funded through the overall pricing of goods in the participating um, retailers. Now, everything kind of started, I think, coming to an end for these in the late 70s early 80s and you didn't really see them after that. Um, now, a department store in Milwaukee introduced the first trading stamps back in 1891 which were exchanged for goods in the store um, but in 1896 the Sperry and Hutchinson Company green stamps that year was the first trading stamp company that operated as an independent business, providing stamps to different types of merchants um, in a community, along with booklets to paste them in. Then, um, opening their own stores where merchandise was purchased only in exchange for the company's stamps. So you couldn't go in and spend cash. You had to pay for what you wanted with the amount of books that, or, you know, the, the savings books. Now, these had value and there was a heist of some sort where a whole bunch of these were stolen, filled up ones were stolen. So, um, anyway, this was such, this brings back such fond memories for me. Now, my mom and dad, of course, were always on a budget for our groceries, as most families were. So, you know, when we would get these, we couldn't wait to put them in the books. And then the catalogs would come and we would pour over what we were going to save up for. Now, 
My husband has a particularly interesting story when on his 12th birthday, they were driving to go redeem a whole bunch of these books for a pup tent that was going to be his birthday present. And they were um, hit by a semi truck, the entire family, his entire family. And uh, they had a VW bus and nobody wore seatbelts back in the 60s. And um, they were pretty hurt, mostly his mom and mostly him. And he was in a coma for a couple weeks and then in the hospital for a few months after that. And lots and lots of surgeries, brain surgeries. And his mom was really hurt and um, she was a teacher at that time and actually taught for an entire year after that, wearing a full plaster leg cast. So that was his story of the SH, you know, redemption. They were going to a redemption center to um, get that pup tent. So, anyway, everyone lived. I think his one sister broke an arm and one sister broke an ankle, and his dad got the least of the impact. So I think he just had glass, but it was very serious for him and his mother, my husband and his mother. Anyway, let's go ahead and look through these because they just are such an amazing blast to the past. One of them is from, let's see what year is this, glasses. This is from 1963, and then the other SNH green stamp one is from, it's hard to see, maybe 1967. I think this is 1967. And then the blue chip catalog, the blue chip stamp catalog, it doesn't say. doesn't say what year, but it's very clearly, it looks like the mid to late 60s. So, there we go. Let's get started, and I will go through these and show them to you, and I would love to hear um, your memories, if you have them, about these stamps, and if you ever got anything from Blue Chip Stamp uh, redemption centers or S and H, you know, green stamp redemption centers. You have to be old like me <laughs> to remember these. So let's get started and walk through these amazing stamp books. Okay, so here's a closer look at the stamps. These are the Holden trading stamps. Let's see. See those? Oops. And those went in these books. So every page takes 30 stamps. The Holden Trading Stamp Company was out of Detroit, Michigan. Okay, so these are the red ones, and these are Holden. Not as big as s and or Blue Chip, so I'll put those aside. And here's a... Um, are Jack's appreciation coupons. So a lot of people tried to get in on this stamp business. Okay, and then, so this is 
gold bill savings book. 1,200 stamps to fill this book. We kept ours in a box, like a shoe box. <laughs> okay, so now here are the SNH stamp books. And look, here's one that is completed on this page. And you could, or you can paste five tens right here. See? So, you just don't mix the stamps. You keep them you either do big or you do little, but not both. So. So, this book is complete. Barry and Hutch Hutchinson Company. And then here's one that's empty. Okay, so now let's look and see what you can buy or trade these in for. Remember, these are um, in lieu of cash. You cannot add cash to this. look at the blue chip one later in a minute. So let's look at these two. Oh my gosh, look at them. All right, so we'll start with this one. It's 1963. Sixty-three. So everything. So this is a silver, um, silver-plated punch set, and it would take fifteen books. Fifteen. Okay, so this coffee pot is a silver-plated coffee pot out of this Chippendale service, and it is um, eight and three-quarter books plus FET of 263, and that is um, the federal excise tax, so tax. So eight and three quarter books. Wow. Look at the chafing dish. That'd be seven books. Wow. Silverware, sterling. International silver sterling flatware. So let's see, a five piece setting would be, what, nine books? Wow, plus 350 tax, Whew, that's pretty expensive, but it is sterling silver, so 
Now stainless steel Oneida 16 piece serving set is five books. Wow, big difference. Okay, China, China and plates and whatnot. Wow, look at that. So, bang, let's pick one. A 16 piece set is a luncheon set, 32 piece luncheon set is three and a half books. A 16 piece starter set is two and a half books. Wow. Glassware. Okay, H. Let's see. A set of six 14 ounce stemmed iced tea. Uh, one book. One book. Sorry, it's easier to do it down here. So you've got glassware, plates. Cookware, serving. Oh my gosh, we had this cookie jar. Oh my god, wow, look at that cookie jar. We did not have the whole set, but that was our cookie jar. Wow, golly, we had that. My mom and dad had that well into the 90s. I wonder. Cookie Bear, one and a quarter books. I know my mom wouldn't remember where we got it. That's her memories are fading. Wow, you can see some of the things that you could order. <laughs> okay. Wow. A lot of okay the scales. S. The brass planter scale, fruitwood base, four books for this scale. Okay, tablecloths. Let's take, let's look at this pink tablecloth. It was G. Round linen tablecloth, um, two and three quarter books. Sofa coil springs 83 inches by 32 inches high. Dun, dun, dun. Emerald turquoise is the color, but it comes in pale coral, citron, marine blue, coronado gold, charcoal brown, flame, and toast. 60 books. That's a big, that's a lot. That's a big collection of books. And then look at the chair. This chair is 32 books. You have to buy a lot of groceries to get this. Oh, the braided rugs. Oh, goodness. Look at that. This is the 60s. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, P. How much is this? 36 books. And the colors this comes in is, let's say they come in blue green, gold, brown, lavender blue. <laughs> Look at this. This whole, um, you know, like a, it's a walnut veneer storage unit to keep your encyclopedias, because we all had encyclopedias. Oh my goodness, I love this mid-century modern furniture. Oh. oh my goodness, look at this. This is a treasure trove of 
ideas from the 60s. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at this mirror. Let's see, that is antique gold frame 21 by 29 inch mirror. Four and a half bucks. Wow. <laughs> this reminds me of a Goodwill store. <laughs> Lamps. Very traditional, standard looking lamps. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, so many people had these in the 60s. Very 60s. Card tables. Recliners. Oh, look at this ashtray. Smoking stand. Ashtray. Brass and walnut. Two and a quarter books. TV trays. TV trays were huge in the 60s. And, and this is what they looked like. And we loved them because that usually meant my mom and dad were going out and we could have the TV dinners, which were horrible, but we loved them. Swanson's TV dinners. This like dried desiccated chicken and <laughs> and this you'd get a dessert like an apple crusty thing or a chocolate brownie and these corn vegetables that were like chewy like rubber they were so awful but we loved it loved it okay rugs scatter rugs clocks so this clock here is R is three and a quarter books. I better speed up or I'll never get through all this. Oh, look at these. We had a clock similar to this in our living room. Watches. Wow. I like this one. Bulova. Um, Ten and three quarter book. I, you know what? I have a Bulova watch. The battery's dead, but I should get it charged up. Or a new battery, I should say. Grooming kits for men. Hmm. Electric razors. Clothing. Doesn't that look like Mr. Rogers and his sweater? I love Mr. Rogers. Raincoats. Oh, look at this sweater set. Okay, how many books? Um, this, mm -hmm. Cashmere cardigan is seven books. Wow. Thank you. And three and a half for this one here. I don't know. Okay, slips and pajamas and shirts and jammies for men. B. Mink. It's a sweater with a mink collar back when fur was popular. And mink stole 150 books. Wow. Nope, I wouldn't wear fur. Not anymore. Oh, Dinah Shore. She says, you're so smart to save s &H green stamps. They're America's most valuable stamps. Competing with blue chip stamps. Wow, Dinah Shore. I remember Dinah Shore. The Dinah Shore Show. Purses. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is such cool 60s stuff. Jewelry. These real pearls. Simulated pearls. One book. Oh, a sewing machine. Singer sewing machine. Curtains. Okay, so we had a, no, our curtains were like this, kind of lace and see-through. G. That would be uh, one and a uh, one and a quarter books. Yeah, you know what? They were like these, but just shorter. They were these. 
they were sheer all the way through. Bedspreads, chenille, oh, cotton chenille bedspreads. Anywhere from two to three books. Blankets, blankets, sheets, towels, oh, the 60s. I've said this before in other videos. The 60s had the best towels ever because they were thin and crispy and thirsty. The big velour things that kind of started coming in the 80s. They did, they weren't thirsty. They rubbed your body, but they slid off it. I like the rough, you know, thirsty towels. Call me weird. Tank sets. <laughs> Ooh, hair dryers. We had one of these. You would put your hair up in curlers, and then you'd plug in and you had to sit there and get your hair dried. Shower curtains and how much for in? Ten books. Wow, that hair dryer is expensive. Oh, look at this padded hamper. This is all bathroom decor. J Wiz. For us, this would have been like so posh. Wow, kitchen stuff. Look at that in freezer. This is a freezer, a general electric electric freezer, 117 books. And then this is the refrigerator freezer, 119 books. The oven, look at these colors, 90 books. Look at that color. Fluorescent, oh wait, 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 no, it's Pink, turquoise, yellow, brown, or white. Those were your choices. That's clearly the turquoise. There's my percolator that I want to get to try. Oh my goodness. All the appliances that were starting to become very popular, like can openers. You know, we had a can opener but I always preferred, still do, the hand twist one. Cookware, Echo, wow. Um, knives, more cookware. Ah, oh, look at this, Pyrex. You know, there's Pyrex and there's Pyrex. If you're ever like at a thrift store or a charity shop and you wonder if it's the real thing, it sh when you flip it over, it should be in all capitals. That's the old Pyrex. The new Pyrex, the stuff that we've heard explode, is this capital P, Y, and then regular Y, R, E, X. You want, if you're looking for Pyrex, you look for all capital. Pyrex. Okay. Let's kind of go through. Oh, vacuum cleaners. Toys. Oh, yes. Look at that. Race tracks. These things were so much fun. My brother got these things like this, and I had so much fun playing, and you'd get them going so fast, and they'd fly off the corner, you know. Dolls. Lots of dolls. A clown doll. I hate clowns. Always have. Always have. I just think their faces are hideous. I've never, ever liked a clown. Ever. Bikes. Wow. Look at these. Oh, these are so Okay, um, wagons, dang, okay, so let's see how much this bike is. 
um, A, the girl's bike, 17 bucks. Cribs. Now look at this crib. Your, your kid could get his head stuck in here. So, look at that. These cribs are outlawed. No, I'm sorry, that's a playpen. Same thing, though. You know, and here's the crib. Okay, so how much for this playpen? Um, five and a half bucks. Strollers, oh my goodness. These things were so dangerous. Look at these walkers. Oh my goodness, they could just go anywhere and fall off stairs and... But it was the time. Ooh, office stuff. Look at that. File cabinets, typewriters, portable typewriters. Cookbooks, games, Bibles. Ooh, a TV. Wow. Uh, this floral centerpiece is three and a quarter bucks for that plastic um, floral thing. Now the TV be 150 bucks. Wow. The Magnavox console stereophonic phonograph. Wow, 60 bucks. We used to have the big um, TV and stereo and you turned it on and it took like five minutes to warm up, get all the tubes warmed up. And then I remember when we finally got a TV like this, it was just so cool. And you got a TV stand because you needed, you know, to put it on something. And so we had a TV stand just like that. Oh, record players. Wow. That's so cool. Harmonicas. All these things. Cameras. Tripods. Wow, vacations. Okay, a New York vacation. Um, what is it? Two persons in twin bedded bedrooms. Three days, two nights at the famous Park Sheraton Hotel. Um, Nineteen and a half books. Wow. Look, San Francisco. There's Alcatraz right there. Um, wow, we, that is 18 and a half books, three days, two nights. Luggage, patio, outdoor furniture, a boat, okay, how much for the boat? Okay, here's the little outboard, 70 book, uh, books, yeah, and L, um, I did JK, L. It's a 100-inch Tacoma fiberglass outboard boat. Mm, wrap around plexi, 200 books. Whew. Wow, we Sports equipment, golf. My goodness, oh, fishing boat. How much is this B? Aluminum fishing boat, 60 books. Guns, you can buy a gun. Let's see, Winchester model 290, 22 caliber, 17 and a half books. Or a five shot pump action shotgun, 31 books. Fishing gear, knives, waders, workout equipment, butt shakers. <laughs> wow, okay. Garage equipment. Garage tools, dog house, cat scratcher. One book for that cat scratcher. Isn't that the coolest? So here are the distribution centers. Atlanta, Chicago, Cincinnati, Fort Worth, Lincoln, Nebraska, LA, Matuchin, New Jersey, Natick, or Natick, Natick, Massachusetts, Portland, and South San Francisco. This one, 
And I'll go through the next one pretty quickly here. You know? Okay. <laughs> Miss Jane Ann J. Rowe, Miss America in 1967. Okay, luggage. I'm just going to go through quickly or this will be the longest video I ever made. Wow, luggage. Look at this. Watches and jewelry. We've seen a lot of this. Ooh, colognes. Men's suits. Oh, I love this. We're starting to see some diversity. I love that. Ooh, wow, all oh, these, these dresses I love. Oh my goodness, I love this. I'm just loving this walk back. Girdles and slips and jammies. Kids clothes. Ooh, look at this furniture. Look at that, holy moly. Okay, this sofa is what? Oh, that's the end table. Um, I have American sofa. It's 69 bucks. Like this guy over here. I and the two gals. Okay, more furniture. Lamp. Lamps and more lamps and china. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, these things. Okay, how much? I saw this guy in the last one. Trojan horse. One and a half books. The scales. What's with the scales in the 60s? I swear that was a major decor item. Clocks, full clocks, desk clocks, <laughs> rattan, oh my goodness, bedroom furniture, oh my gosh, my kids had something like this. Okay, blankets, I'm going to kind of skip ahead, beds and mattresses, more cribs and Changing tables. No. Cameras and video equipment. Office equipment. Oh, these were the coolest. You could make, dial the name of the, um, what was it called? 17. Dymo Mark VI label maker. Okay. Record players. Televisions. How much is this television here? RCA console. 230 books. Card tables, folding tables, more um, tablecloths, kitchen stuff. Oh, look at that avocado green. Oh my god. And the brown. Soup three. That range is ninety nine bucks. Oh. What is with her little prairie hat? What the heck? Look at her. She's got freaky eyes. Look at her. Hey kid. You know children in the corn. <laughs> Like little prairie kids. Look at him. Or Amish, maybe. Okay. I don't think they're Amish. I think they're just dressed up playing prairie. Mm -hmm. oh, those are so pretty. Toasters and griddles. Ooh, scales. Weight water. So how much is the scale? 21, five and a quarter books. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This, our 
house was painted this inside. Oh. oh my gosh. Holy Lord. Okay. Scatter rugs, bath rugs, sewing stuff. Toys. Okay, I'm gonna jump ahead. If I know this is garage tools. Oh my goodness, outdoor furniture. That's cool. Thermoses and coolers and fishing equipment. Sports equipment. Okay, how much for this golf? Um, Sam Sneed, Blue Ridge, um, golf irons. You get a number three, five, seven, nine, and a putter. Thirteen and a quarter books. Ice skates and pool tables. It's not a full pool table, really. It's what do they call that? Like what is that? Like a billiard table, I guess so. Lawn darts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another butt shaker. Like that really helped. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, this was the SNH book. Now, let's quickly go through the blue chip. TV is 231 and 3 sixths books. Not 231 and a half books, but 3 sixths. Everything is in sixes. Music equipment and um, record players. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, look at these. We had something like that. Pocket radio, eight transistor, transistor radio, wow. Three books. Okay, number three, this sofa. It's a number three. Sofa is 111 and one sixth books. So totally different valuation per book, I think. Lamps and lights. Yeah, ooh, lots of lamps. Wow. We used to have some of this milk glass. It's that white, um, kind of white beaded, you know, glass artwork. Wow. Sorry for my shadow. Wall decor. Clocks. You see the same theme. Wow, look at the candelabras. Oh, look at her, look at her. Total 60s, total 60s. Fondue, fondue. I love fondue. I like really good fondue. In San Jose, growing up, down on Winchester and Stevens Creek Boulevard, there was a a restaurant next to the Century Theaters called the Magic P No, the Melting Pot. I think it was called the Melting Pot, something like that. And they had fondue; it was so good. They had a crepe restaurant called the Magic Pan. Oh my God, they had these delicious chicken divan crepes that I loved. That was a real treat. Okay, this um, silver is, the coffee pot is eight and two sixths books. So, about eight books. Cook, um, dishes, 
cookbooks, oh my gosh, games, wow, pens, typewriters, office stuff, cameras, oh my goodness, video equipment, and cameras, and luggage, Purses, wow. I love these purses. I love retro purses. Wallets, sunglasses. <laughs> one and one sixth book for those. Look at these fake pearls. I know they're fake. I can see them. Pearl. Coral pearl simulated. Yep. I can spot. Pearls a mile away. Okay, watches, beauty things. Oh my goodness. There's oh, these hair dryers. These exercise it things are just so funny. Built massager. Deep action provides mild to vigorous massage. Ugh. Look at the stationary bike. And that would be four, four, four. 22 books. Oh, golly, I remember some of this equipment. Let me hold it for you to see. Look at this. It's so janky. <laughs> Look at the rower. Look at that rower. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Golf clubs, golf shoes. Ping pong, basketball, sports equipment, fishing gear, two kids out on a raft, no parent in sight, and this thing isn't even roped. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Camping, tents. Now, interesting. Now this is blue chip, but this is very similar to what my husband was going to go get, a pup tent. And this would have been five and four sixths books. <laughs> Lots of camping stuff. When we used to go camping as kids, we slept on these cots. loved those cots because they because they got you up off the ground <laughs> and the coolers the thermos all the thermos um the, not only the you know jugs and bottles but also the chests ice chests more outdoor furniture so look at this grill number five this would be um, 14 and two sixths books. Lots of outdoor stuff. Landscaping tools and garage tools. Wow. I mean, there's everything saws, skill saws, tools. <laughs> car covers, bikes and bicycles. So this 10 speed, uh, G, no, no, six, I'm sorry. It is a 10 speed boys bicycle, 23 inch frame, 41 and one sixth books. And toys and dolls. This is the part we loved as kids. A BB gun. <laughs> Actually, it's probably make saved. It's there's nothing comes out of it. That's good. Strollers, oh my goodness. Car seats. Look at these car seats. Look at these. And nursery items and toys. A stuffed bear. Nineteen. Uh, one and four sixth books. Oh my goodness.
this. Towels and bathroom and shower accessories, bedspreads, table, oh no, these are still bedspreads, blankets, so a regular blanket, five and three, six books, so five and a half books. I think we had this in our bathroom, something very similar. Lots of rugs and um, tablecloths. Now we're getting into the tablecloths and housewares, irons, vacuums, sewing machines, step ladders, stepping stools, kitchen appliances, and utensils. Corning coffee ware and, um, and cookware. Wow, these are nice. There's somebody on YouTube who collects this stuff from um, the Pyrex, Corning Pyrex stuff from Goodwills and thrift stores and resells them. So there's a big business there. Side hustle. Cookware. Blenders and mixers, meat cutters, electric meat cutters. Oh, look at, look at, okay, brown, avocado green, harvest gold. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I don't know what that is, but that is the last page for the blue chip catalog. Well, what did you think? Pretty cool stuff, huh? It was enough to keep us so excited. We just loved this. We just loved these. We always had one of these catalogs around the house. So tell me what you think. Well, I'm going to sign out for now. and go put all these away in a nice, nice, safe place. And I hope you enjoyed this. Talk about a blast to the past. I bid you peace. I bid you wellness. Happiness and love. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Bye for now.